Despite the economic downturn, why the trade in antiques is booming. Well, since the share market and superannuation funds have taken a battering, investors are getting more inventive with their money. Sales of antiques are apparently booming. An old photograph, statue or vase. These treasured relics have lived through many recessions and investors know they'll once again stand the test of time. They get something that gives them pleasure as well as something that they know they can get a return on in the future. In the midst of a global financial crisis, antique stores in Brisbane are booming. And we're more than 15% up, which is really, really encouraging. Oh, maybe people are just reaching out for a bit of nostalgia for the good old days. Retro clothing has proved popular with young people, but for older generations it's about putting something away for the future. There's a lot of people's um, superannuation has, um, you know, they've gone backwards. Um, a lot of people are investing in jewellery. Others see buying antiques as a way of reducing their carbon footprint. It's my contribution to recycling is what I think. China, silver and furniture are tipped to be the best investments. At a time of financial crisis, collectors say searching for little treasures is an experience that lifts their spirits. They're looking for investments with a little bit of heart and a little bit of emotion and there's nobody that buys antiques without investing a little bit of emotion. For would-be investors, the advice is do your research, don't skimp on the price and only buy things you love. Tracy Moran, 10 News.